Morning. Morning in the great state of Florida. It's a little breezy though. It's supposed to be between 10 and 15 miles an hour. We're spraying potatoes today. I'm fired up, I'm a little sleepy. I got a little puffy eye. I don't know, one of those gnats. We were making a video yesterday, finding morel mushrooms with our thermal drone. Make sure to watch that video. We're gonna go spraying. Come along, it's gonna be great. Just got to the field, I'm fired up, doing a demo for the guys here. There's an ag pilot here, has a couple questions, wants to see how it's done. We got 127 acre field, we're gonna get knocked out. I'm gonna throw a T40 out right now, find that uh, pivot, create it as an obstacle, and then get the fields built and get them out here because the wind is starting to pick up. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's why you want a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna fly four drones, so we would split the whole field into four different fields. You can also do route segment, so one big field, and then you say drone A flies zero to 15, the next one does from 15 to 25. I don't like doing that, because then you have drones and field in the same field, where if I have drones running right next to each other, they won't collide because they're technically in different fields. How oh, wide of an area is 30 feet. So target height is 12 feet above the crop, you're gonna get a 30 foot swath. Today we're gonna bring it down because of the wind, that way it don't drift as far, so our swath is going to be narrower. So it's gonna take longer to do it because we're gonna be down lower. I was building all these boundaries and then talking with the farmer more. We figured out that the image I'm using on the DJI Smart Farm app is pretty up to date, but I was pulling these boundaries out all the way to the fence because that's what it looked like originally. But it's actually that last row. You can see where the tire of the pivot was. And so now I'm redoing the boundaries to be right on it because with the drones, you can be super precise. Look how that lays it in there, even with this wind because of that prop wash. Like where target height is nine feet, ideally we wanna be 12, but we're getting a little bit of drift, but it's laying on, on the next row. All right guys, we got this field wrapped up, doing a demo out here on potatoes. Had some farmers, had an aerial applicator with airplanes out here as well, wanted to see these drones in action. It went really well, no real obstacles. The only one that we had to figure out was the pivot and uh, basically we took a T40 off, went over, marked the pivot, figured out that the pivot was in the same position it was when the uh, aerial uh, photo was taken on the satellite that we were working off of DJI app. And once we got that figured out, we sent some drones up on the top side. After building boundaries, after talking to the farmer more, we figured out that they don't plant all the way out to the fence. We took a pivot tire and then just built the boundaries to the pivot tire. And that way it's really precise. You're not using extra chemical and that type of stuff. We rebuilt the fields, but once we got them up in the air, just buttery smooth, the wind did pick up. So we brought the drones down to nine feet. My recommendation would, I'd hold off, but he was like, no, go ahead, I wanna get it out. You know, they wanted to see how this would work. 
So that's what we did. We got it knocked out. We're gonna wrap it up. We're going to head north and uh, make sure to follow along on our drone debris recovery channel. We're going to a uh, YouTuber's place to drop off another drone. So that's all we got for new ag on this uh, video. Make sure to hit the subscribe, follow along because we're gonna be bringing you guys some good content using drones to spray here in America. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one.